Lord Buddha gave us an eightfold path. We should try to develop a capsule of understanding so we continue to activate all eight folds of that path. How can we do that? Hmm. Holding an impersonal perspective develops a healthy, happy view. This is about how we choose our view, our experience in this existence. This is the first fold. Our view shapes our thoughts. And these thoughts are the supporting images we hold in our mind. Right thought affects how we communicate. And the communication includes our body language, facial expressions, and outward speech. Our speech affects our inclination and the movement of our mind's attention. This is deep, high level of understanding, right movement, which leads us to outward action. Our actions influence how we determine our choice for a livelihood and a lifestyle. Each of us has a gift to discover and develop in this life to help support our world, our community and world. When we find it, we should attempt to do what we love and love what we do. For that, we will do very well. Always we should practice as we go along the four steps of right effort to relieve us from any distractions. The Buddha gave these to us. And then all through life we will be able to purify and retrain our minds to their fullest potential. And that will bring peace and harmony throughout the world. Our most successful tools will occur when we apply harmonious observation. This right mindfulness is how we understand all life actually works. This kind of gentle mindfulness uses a productive level of well-tuned concentration, which will reveal to us a well-tuned concentration that can continue to show us the true nature of the operation of our mind, body, and life. And so we comprehend the true nature of the operation of our life, and we comprehend and complete our tasks and agendas each day to help each other along this path in life. And this is the day-to-day -day use of the Eightfold Path. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.